Chairman of the IEEE, Professor Saini of Madras uh, section. My presentation is going to be on IT and PPM industry in India and its scope in uh, Digital India, Make in India and Skill India. These are the new initiatives which the government has been propagating and uh, heavily investing. The scope of IT in these three sectors is going to be covered by me in this uh, 30 minutes presentation. IT industry has been uh, kind of uh, witnessing a phenomenal growth in the past 35 years. Actually, it was uh, less than 100 billion dollars in 1980. In the last year, we crossed about 130 billion US dollars, and uh, we are projecting almost 300 billion dollars by the year 2020. Government policies and uh, support has been fueling the growth of this IT industry. And the present initiatives such as Digital India, Make in India and Skill India will further improve the scope and growth of this IT industry. So when you talk about uh, unlocking the growth potential, actually India has got almost 50 million SMEs, but only 5% of them are uh, using the IT services. And this uh, industry employs 106 million people, representing 22% of the labor force, but its uh, GDP contribution is only 8%. Suppose if they use the IT, they can create almost 50 million jobs. So this is projected by a Google uh, study recently carried out. And digital technologies can earn about 101 billion US dollars by the year 2020. This is another uh, study by the Accenture. So, my presentation will cover uh, three, I mean, four parts. First, I will start about the uh, IT and BPM industry work. Click on the no, Click, click on the IT. So this is from the NASCAM overview. IT has been contributing uh, to 9.5 percent of the GDP of India, whereas the SME sector is just contributing only 8 percent. IT has overgrown the SME industry as a whole, and then it is one of the largest private employer. 3.5 million people are employed, and it is uh, having a in the diversity employing more than 1.2 million women. And in terms of uh, service exports, it represents 38% plus and 55% uh, of the global destination they look at India as the source for IT and BP operations. And in terms of uh, entrepreneurship and startup, uh, this IT industry has got 3,100 uh, entrepreneurs right now and it is the fourth in the global list. And in terms of investment potential, we have uh, received almost 6 billion US dollars and representing 53% of the total MDA coming into the country. And uh, I just this gives, this picture gives about the growth in the IT industry between uh, 2014 and 2015 say 130 billion US dollar and 2015 it is estimated to be about 146 and it is also one of the fastest growing industry growth rate of 33 percent and employment potential if you look at it will be touching 3.5 million and uh, different types of uh, this year we are likely to add about 200 230,000 uh, people in the IT industry. And in terms of uh, market, it is most attractive. Actually, the India is uh, one of the largest consumer market. That's why the earlier speaker was also mentioning about the e-commerce. So, what do you feel the uh, e-commerce? And in terms of the uh, skills, our talent composition is 
excellent. We have grown two times in the last five years and uh, we are having a lot of digitally qualified people, digitally uh, and sort of skilled people. In fact, our technical output of engineering is almost one million every year. And in terms of uh, this, this uh, chart gives about the entrepreneurship and startups, and the government of India has already initiated their funding of uh, 1,000 crores startup funding, and NASCAR has also uh, initiated a project called 10,000 startup, and which helps in the uh, startup uh, and entrepreneurship. And uh, the potential areas of uh, future growth includes mobile internet, automation of knowledge, and internet of things. This is the future, almost 50 million uh, devices will be connected by the year 2020. And excellent potential is there in terms of internet of things. And all of us know that cloud computing has uh, taken root and almost become popular and SMEs are using it to a large extent. And advanced robotics is another area where the future will be robotics. And as the uh, people, availability of skilled people are becoming lower and lower, the robotics will take over. In fact, recently you must have read in the newspaper that a hotel which has been totally managed by robots has been uh, sort of started in Japan. And uh, talking about uh, employability, of course, the elements are mentioned in the morning also that most of us we lack uh, soft skills. That has been one of the uh, negative uh, factor. Apart from technical uh, knowledge, the expectations based on the survey has been adaptability and integrity, cultural fitment. And communication, you can see 17.6% of the people say that communication is very essential. And domain expert, again domain expert becomes one of the critical factor to excel. Particularly the countries from abroad, they are looking at us taking over the entire enterprise, not just providing a solution and running their enterprises and numerical and logic capability. So the next item, what we are going to touch about is the digital. Huh? It is a program to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. It is the, uh, the vision and dream of the current Prime Minister. And this focus is uh, to transform it and to realize the uh, formula IT plus IT is equal to IT. I think some of you may be knowing about this formula. The first IT stands for what? In the area? Huh? Yeah, information technology. Second IT stands for Indian talents. And uh, that combined it gives the India tomorrow. And uh, this is an umbrella program. It covers most of the departments of the government. And uh, some of the details you can see in the future slides. And uh, this Digital India mission is covered in three key areas. One is providing digital infrastructure as a utility to every citizen. Governance and services and demand. And third one is the digital empowerment of citizens. The first area, infrastructure is a utility, it broadly covers high speed internet as a poor utility. Trend to great digital identity, that is to make every one identifiable. And we have already started the project other in this connection. And mobile phone and bank account enabling everyone to participate in digital and financial and easy access to common service centers. Basically, it is the interface to the citizen with the government and shareable private space and public cloud. So every citizen of India will have a space, will be provided some amount of storage and the public cloud. And ultimately, we are aiming at providing a safe and secure cyberspace. 
The second vision, it is on uh, governance and services and demand. And uh, it aims at integrating various departments, service available in real time mode, either online or through mobile platforms, and all citizens' entitlement to be available on the cloud. So they are going to the cloud infrastructure so that anywhere you can access information and services. Services digitally transforming and uh, making things easy, the business, to do the business, uh, easiness of doing business in India, it has been ranked 54, now we want to improve upon. So only by providing digital services we can be able to improve our index. And uh, making all the financial transactions electronic and cashless. In order to bring down the black money and things like that, and uh, leveraging uh, GIS for digital support and develop. And third vision area is uh, digital empowerment of citizen, providing digital literacy. Basically, we want every individual or every citizen of India to know how to operate a computer and uh, sort of make use of the services provided by the government and uh, making uh, resources available digital form and uh, make uh, all the documents and certificates being stored in the uh, cloud and availability of uh, digital services and resources in Indian language. All of you know that India has got more than 22 official languages and English is not the only one the service need to be provided. We need to move in for uh, multiple Indian languages. And it is one of the aim of this uh, Digital India project. And collaborative digital platform for participating in governance, the e-governance and the area, so that the people can participate along with the department people. And uh, portability, that is the reason we are going on the cloud. It is not restricted to one area of operation. So by moving on the cloud, we will be able to port across various platforms. Actually, the Digital India uh, encompasses into nine pillars, starting with the broadband highways, the first one, and universal access to mobile connectivity, public internet access program, e-governance and informing government, government through the technology, and electronic delivery of services, Information for all, electronic manufacturing, and particularly aiming to have net zero import by year 2022, and IT for jobs, and early harvest programs. And of course, this uh, this details, you know, when you talk about the uh, broadband highway, we are talking about the broadband for all the rural public, and also urban. National information infrastructure beyond that. And universal access to mobile connectivity. Already, India has got the one of the largest mobile After uh, China, in fact, we are uh, much higher than the uh, US. So, we are second. And uh, public internet access is through the common service centers and being uh, offered by the NIC and other uh, government agencies. And uh, ultimately, India has got a large number of post services and they will become one of the multi-service centers for reaching the people across the country. And uh, doing the uh, e-governance, business process the engineering. Most of the uh, operations that are happening in the government sector is uh, very complicated. And now they are trying to simplify it through the business process management. And uh, next level is the storing all the information in the digital form. And then also doing the workflow automation. So that you know, once you start, you will be able to complete the entire operation in, with this. And the uh, public events addressing. Again, you know, making use of the uh, cloud platform for accessing the problem and solving it digitally. 
And uh, in terms of talking about electronic delivery services, India has got uh, mission board projects. There are a number of mission board projects, 31, including the uh, government subsidy with passport issuance and Ministry of Company Affairs and things like that. And uh, expanding and revamping the current mission board projects. And government is uh, very keen in promoting the e-education, that is the digitally empowering the education and uh, literacy program for the common service centers and uh, technology for health, that is uh, e-healthcare and uh, empowering the farmer using the technology. And uh, in terms of offering the uh, mobile and emergency service alerts to the mobile. So this is going to be the major thing in terms of disaster technology and other process. This type of alert will be very useful. And ultimately financial inclusion is also another service. You must be knowing that the many of the direct benefit traffic is happening through the electronic mode. And information for all, like uh, citizens will have the easy access to information to the open data platform. And talking about the electronic uh, manufacturing, government has come out with a lot of incentives and trying to fund plus for electronic manufacture. And uh, they are trying to promote innovation by subsidizing the research and electronic development created and National Centre for Excellence in terms of flexible manufacturing is also coming up. And uh, India has been traditionally poor in terms of uh, electric picture and now they are setting up the park uh, units and skill development is another uh, very important area particularly in the hardware sector. About 4 lakh people are going to be tied and uh, government has come with and already announced the electronic mission. And talking about the IT for jobs, Trying people in smaller towns and villages for IT sector. Basically, it is uh, promoting PPO across the country. And uh, IT and IT services in North and East. Basically, North is the neglect uh, area in the country. And the government is very keen in promoting the IT services in the North and East, North East part of the country. And uh, delivering IT services, again, a lot of people need to be trained. And telecom service providers are with to support the rural telecom services. And dairy harvest program has been uh, in various areas, IT has been in use. Some of the things, IT platform for messages. And uh, most of the government have been asked to give it to a great extent. Biometric attendance has been introduced in government offices. And Wi-Fi, that is wireless uh, access has been provided in almost of educational institutions. And uh, things like public Wi-Fi hotspots. Many places, uh, the PSNR has been asked to provide at least 400 places uh, Wi-Fi will be uh, made available. In fact, if you look at uh, today's paper, we must have uh, read Malapuram in uh, Kerala, Magandhi, Entire district of 33 kilometers has become the free Wi-Fi. And uh, Digital India this is a, a massive project. It is estimated to cost about 100,000 crores plus 30,000 crores already invested. So, yeah. And uh, Digital India project, there has been a lot of commitment has come from the industry. And recently, uh, Digital India Week was celebrated, and first July, uh, Prime Minister Modi with uh, uh, initiated this Digital India Week, and it has got a 4.5 lakh crore of investment and employment for about 18 lakh people that has been committed by various industries. To give you an example, Reliance has committed to invest 2.5 lakh crores 
and Bharat Airtel will be uh, investing about 100,000 crores. Tata Group is promised to 60th per this year. And Aditya Gurula Group is investing 40,000 crores. Vedata Group is investing 40,000 crores. And the Reyes Group, Anil, uh, uh, that is the brother of Mukesh, they are investing and uh, some of the initiatives already uh, either existing or maybe you know introduced to digital laptop system like uh, every citizen is given 10 megabytes of storage in the cloud and you can preserve all your uh, documents including things like that in the cloud and you can simply call for it using the other as the identity authentication and identification. <coughs> yeah, then mygovernment.in it uh, provides easy access and particularly uh, uh, to deal with the government initiatives and South Bank Vision will have uh, one then e-sign framework to sign your documents, you will have a facility and already through e-mutra this initiative has been done and online registration for the e-hospital, most of them will be made available online and national scholarship portal, all the students will go through this portal and write from application submission to the disbursement of the scholarship. And Digitalist India platform so that uh, this initiative is to uh, create digital copies of all the resources so that the people can access it through the public cloud. And Bharat Dev is a high speed uh, optical fiber network. The idea is to find five electronic panchayats. Then uh, I was talking about the electronic services, the e ground framework. Then BPO policy has been announced so that uh, the smaller cities can be brought into the BPO network and electronic development fund, national center for flexible electronics, center for excellence in internet of things, <laughs> then digital life certificate. Now every pensioner is expected to give a life certificate in the month of uh, November. Now there is no need. The entire KYC form has been become digital. Once it is other is authentication, so there is no need for you to provide a certificate every year. And uh, monitoring the uh, NGNS play through the mobile systems and Twitter summer, like government in changing announcements will reach the public through Twitter. And the uh, health portal is already formed, and cyclone warning system, job portal through the national career services been launched and uh, online uh, facility for file storage, file single return, basically uh, uh, most of the government services and uh, company affairs, you know, they need to submit different uh, documents. Now everything has been consolidated, the entire filing has become simpler, right from my income tax and service tax and customs duty and things like that. Online facility to issue the pan card. Within 48 hours, you will be able to get your pan card. Again, this initiative has been already in place. And e money, through the Department of Post, the e money system has been implemented. So that the electronic uh, money ordering system, just you can deposit money in one place and then they get an SMS and the money order will be, uh, I mean, the money will be paid to the recipient party. Once you identify this uh, unique uh, passport has been transmitted through the SMS. And then e-course portal, the entire judiciary system is again brought into the electronic format so that you know, they will get to know the status of the various cases and then also it will provide the future reference. And uh, actually building 100 smart cities, you know this uh, initiative is likely to bring 
India is the third uh, arm of this uh, IT development and skill development. Skill India project. This was announced on uh, 16th July very recently. And uh, it is uh, planning to uh, train 40 crore people by the year 2022 through the National Skill Development Mission. And also there are multiple activities like skill development and entrepreneurship project has been announced. Pradhan Mandri Goshal Vikas Yojana is also there and skill loan scheme wherein the people have been provided loan to the extent of 5,000 to 1 lakh for learning and excelling in their trade. And these are the sector skill counselings. Basically, you know, it, uh, it identifies uh, almost about 28 sectors and ranging from uh, aerospace, agriculture, apparel manufacturing, automotive, beauty and wellness, banking and financial sector, insurance, capital goods, chemical, coating, construction, electronic, food processing, gems and jewelry, handicraft, healthcare, hydrocarbon, iron and steel, plumbing, infrastructure, equipment skill, and IIPS, leather, life sciences, logistics, management and management services, media entertainment, mining, power, and uh, rubber, I mean, uh, retailing, retail, rubber, security, sports, telecom, textile, and uh, cosmetic and tourism. So these are the uh, skill development concepts, and they get formed, and then the aim is to uh, make 40 crore people to be trained. And these initiatives, every initiative has got some element of IT. And I am sure that IT will have a major impact in this, uh, all the three projects of the government of India. And uh, with this, uh, we would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you.